gifts of the Spirit of God are the sound of war. For this is what the enemy is screaming out from the very bowels of hell. They are saying, give us war in the earth. But God says, listen, I will take them up on their desire for war, but it shall not be in the natural realm as they seek for the bloodshed of men. Yet I shall arise with the assault that I am bringing from heaven that shall engage a spiritual battle that this nation has not experienced yet this far. And it shall be the sword of the Lord that shall give this land unto the remnant who have prayed and who have cried out, says the living God. Therefore, pay attention as you enter into a new season in the month of September, in the month of October. There shall be strange things that shall begin to arise as I begin to cut off and cut down spiritual forces and there shall be visible manifestations that will begin to arise upon the land that you call the United States of America for it is my time says the Lord to show that I am the God that has not ignored the injustice that has taken place among those who have committed crimes those who have done injustice to the children and those who have thought that they could get by through their briberies their hands shakes money laundering God says enough of this for now the light shall arise with my sword and my host as I arise pay attention as the Jewish New Year arises upon the earth pay attention to the time of Rosh Hashanah for there is a trumpet blast and there is a sound that is coming from the host who gather and as the sound of the trumpet blows, injustice shall be brought to a place of justice. And there will be many things that you thought were not true. That I will show that they have been truthful all along. And I will show those who masquerade around as though they think that they can continue in their acting. God says enough of this for I have promised that this nation would not belong to those who desire socialism Marxism fascism but yet I shall give it to the remnant who are crying out day and night shall I not speedily come to avenge my very own elect at this time therefore there shall be an interruption and a disruption that they think that they will bring through your election process. But watch what I do to interrupt, says the living God. Watch what I do to shake it. And they will even say, we have not experienced this like this before. And God says, no, you have tried to rewrite history on a nation that was covenanted to me. Now I take my finger as I did it in the days of Pharaoh. And I cause my finger to come. And the powers of the witches and the powers of the magicians could not reign over my will and my agenda my finger has come now to write my history upon this nation at this time says the living God I have told you that you have entered into the season that I will remove kings I will remove leaders I will remove those who thought through selection and not election that they would have a voice. My finger and the sword, my sword, shall cut them down. And then they will look and they will say, but who is standing? Who is standing? And this month of September and October and November, who is standing as I wage a new level of warfare from my throne against the enemy who desires war? I will give you more, says the living God. And they will say, but who is standing? Who is standing? Who is standing? Who can lead us now? Who can lead us now in this nation? Who is standing? God says, look to 45 who has been through the fire that has been turned up seven times hotter yet he shall walk out without the smell of smoke says the living God this is my justice I'll lift up your hands man I have seen 
tremendous spiritual activity. Soon as we enter into September, oh my God, I see there is an increase of the spiritual activity, not from what you've seen with their threats of mass mandates, forced vaccinations. No, the spiritual activity from the divine finger and intervention of God shall increase over the land. Thank you, Lord. You say, Pastor Hank, what, what, are you, what are you sensing? Listen to me. It was the prophet Elijah who said in 1 Kings 18, 41, I hear a sound of the abundance of rain. Why did he say that? Because the season of harshness, of a famine, for three and a half years was suddenly about to shift. And I'm telling you, as I stand here as a vessel submitted unto the Word of God, submitted unto His authority, submitted unto Him, and the words that come out of my mouth, I am submitted to Him. I tell you, I sense the sound. There is a shifting that is taking place. Don't say from your mouth, when will this?